Uh, today we've still been doing picking up trees, uh, cutting trees offline, getting wire up in the air, fixing broken poles, basically trying to get everybody's power on. Right now we're dealing with single customers, uh, a lot of labor, um, and only getting one or two customers on at a time because of the damage. We've been starting at 5.30 and get done between 10, 10.30. Uh, we're hoping that tomorrow, at the latest, that everybody will have their power back. This is the most damage in the 20 years I've been here that we've had in the St. Albans district, which is considered Milton, Fairfax, that whole area. Uh, as widespread as it has been and as uh, much pole damage and wire damage, this is probably the largest one we've had. The last time I looked at the computer, it said about 514 in this district, 1,500 company-wide. We do have a lot of help right now. We've got some people from Canada. I met a, a crew from uh, Maryland yesterday. Uh, so any help we can get at this point, we're, we're taking it. Tom Blair's been clay target shooting for nearly 20 years. Back then, he was looking for a sport to do with his daughter. And she's still doing it to some extent, but in the process, I got hooked on it. He was president of the North Country Sportsman Club for several years. Their president these days is Bob Otte. He's a former Vermont state champ in the sport. I work with all sorts of folks here, from folks who want to try um, shotgun shooting for the first time, right up to folks who are bird hunters or competitive shooters who want to, you know, kind of come out and tune up a little bit. That's Elaine. She's one of many members of the Williston Club who makes regular visits to shoot trap. We frequently get people expressing surprise uh, over the fact that the club is here. And it's like, wow, I've lived here for 20 years. I didn't know this thing was here. She's also a Darren Aaron fan. Darren Fox Aaron. News da yeah, that's what we're doing. See, Darren Aaron, she knew. I like that. That's we're shooting a Darren Aaron today. How do you think I'm going to do? Well. I hope I like your faith. <laughs> Before we tested my skills out on the course, Tom, who's certified as both a shotgun and sporting clay instructor, taught me about everything from the different types of guns. This is referred to as a hinge gun or a break open gun for obvious reasons. To the ammunition. And of course, three basic safety rules. Gun safety. Number one, always keep the gun pointed in a safe direction. How tall are you? Five, two. Five, one and a half. From there, we found a gun to fit my frame. Ready to go break some, let's do it. And Bomb, Tom and I made our way out to the course. It okay. likely doesn't come as much right. of a surprise Pull. that I had a hard time hitting any targets <laughs> on my first few tries. Shocker, I missed it. Tom even gave me an excuse for my struggles. We have an eye dominance issue. Which we'd solve by placing a piece of tape on my safety glasses over the center of my left eye. Is this a good look? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> The purpose is to obscure the view in your left eye just a little bit so that your right one takes over. Puff. The tape did the trick. I yeah. had it like so good that time. No cheating. I was fully prepared to potentially cheat in this Darren Aaron <laughs> and edit together like me shooting with you hitting, but I've done it myself. Puff. In fact, from there, I went on a bit of a run. Oh. <laughs> hey, you got the hat trick. Technically three in a row. Three in a row. Yes. yes. <laughs> Pull. Hitting target after target. Right. Oh my god, I got both of them. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> that's five in a row I've hit. Yes, that's right. Woo. It is. Just now that I'd gotten the hang of it, Tom mixed things up. From here, it's a slight left to right motion. Pull. I'd shoot from some of the different stations. Did I wait too long? Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes you did. <laughs> <laughs> At least I know what I'm doing wrong. Watch the bird. Pull. A few I could handle. There you oh, go. first try. You trimmed his tail feathers off. Trimmed his tail feathers <laughs> off. I like that. Pull. Some of the others. Uh, pull. Not so much. Oh, that was bad. I knew it was going to be bad. Down to our final two bullets. We decided this would be the challenge's defining moment. Hit the pair, it's a success. Miss, and it's not. Pull. All right. Yay! Good job. I got the pair. What a good note to end on. Just getting the word out there that this is a constant need. People need to think about donating blood every chance that they get because there's a constant need for blood. Every two minutes, somebody needs a blood product in America. I've been doing it for a lot of years. I know I'm O negative, which is a universal donor. So I think that there's always a shortage or a need for that. So I think like, oh, that's something I can do. I can help out in that way. And that's easy. Usually the people here get really excited when an O negative person comes in. So 
Like, I guess I just think it's kind of a community service. It's a way that I can help. You know, I usually have, I'm not anemic, so it's a simple thing to do. It doesn't take very much time and it can be life-saving for some people. But yeah, I think that um, it, it's, it's simple, it doesn't take a lot of time and it can make a huge difference for somebody else. The Red Cross is at work in the community all the time, whether it's giving blood or giving your time as a volunteer. You know, we have volunteers that are running this operation here as well. So it really is a great way to give back to your community. Blood is a biodegradable substance, so it doesn't last forever either. So even the blood that doesn't get used needs to be replaced. So it's something that we need to remember that, you know, schedule it as often as you can to come in and make sure that you can give blood so that we can keep the supply topped off. Well, quite frankly, it was uh, it was uh, an upbeat mood. I think that uh, there was some murmuring going on in the crowd uh, a few minutes before Karina showed up, and people pretty much got the idea that uh, uh, the race had been lost to uh, Mayor Weinberger. Bernie, it is 1034. If you look behind me up above, teachers are still up there in their mediation session. The school board is on the first floor. Now, not too long ago, the mediator actually walked by the media I asked her for an update. She said no comment.